Okay, the next part shows to be the upper part of the drum. And we need to put this gasket around it. This keeps the, the water mixture, if you're going to use this for a concrete mixer. Need to put this rubber gasket on there and uh, get our bolts in there. Okay, now I can start putting washers, lock washers on these things now, now that I've got this thing stabbed. Well, it's a good thing you're watching this video before you start putting this together because these, these holes have to be in a certain place in order to put these mixer blades on. I'm tempted just to drill some holes rather than taking all of these nuts and bolts off again just to change this thing but oh man what a pain Evidently these should have gone on first before this went on just so that you could line it up, but they don't tell you that. Okay, what I've decided to do instead of taking the, the bucket off, there's some bolts inside here and I'm just going to take a bolt out and move it over one so that I can put the mixer blades in there. Oh, howdy, what a pain. At least I got it to hold up. So I can get this back one in there. Okay. Wow, well, wait, there it is in there. Now we just got to put the other one. There's a fiber washer that needs to go against the drum just to keep the water from spilling out. Not that it really matters, you wouldn't lose that much anyway, but the fiber washer goes on there. And <clears throat> it goes, and then this, this mixer plate goes on top of that fiber washer. So, just to want to let you know. Alright, yeah, well, this motor cover goes on there now. I'm not too sure if maybe that motor mount wouldn't be better to put on now. I'm not sure. Well, no, this thing has to go on after that motor mount goes on there. Because I'm going to show you. This part goes in here like that. This other part goes into the back. And then this mount. Let's see if I can make some more noise. And then this mount has to go inside. So all this has got to go on at one time with these really, really long, skinny bolts.
Okay, what you gotta do, you take this motor mount, you put the bolts in there, then you gotta come around to this side, then you've gotta put this spacer in there right here, then you gotta put this third piece right here, and then you gotta try to get your bolts and nuts on there. I don't think these bolts are heavy enough, but what the heck. Okay, now it's just a matter of putting the pulley on there. Got to get a common or a flathead screwdriver to tighten up the, the uh, nut on there. Got to take that. Got to take that piece of plastic on there. I mean, piece of tape on there that's holding that wood uh, uh, that keyway on there. Okay, we're on a keyway. Now we'll put the motor in there and put the belt. Oh, there's a couple of really hard things to get to. And one of them is these bolts right here. I'm gonna have to hold them from out here. I can't get inside. This is the adjustment of that motor for the height. By golly, we got her. <laughs> 